thoughts? Um, you know, first of all, I'm very proud of our team. Uh, I thought we played a very complete game tonight. You know, we weathered storms. I thought BU really had a lot of momentum there in the third after they scored that goal. You know, with the extra attack there. And, you know, I think our penalty kill learned a lot from last night. I know we gave up one to, of course, Nieto uh, tonight, but uh, we did a much better job overall on the kill. And I'm just uh, really pleased for our guys. You know, I thought we played a pretty hard game last night, you know, 50 shots on goal, and we only have one to show for that tonight. We, uh, thank you. I thought we did a good job of finishing our chances when we had them. Are we shooting as often as you guys did? Was that uh, Sean McGuire's involved in or is that just something? No, no, we've just been talking about, you know, it's so hard to score in this league against these goalies that you got to get pucks and bodies to the net. Um, you know, they, probably the two, I don't know if we've had over over 40 in a, in a game this year. So, you know, 50 and 42, I mean, maybe our guys are starting to listen to us. I thought uh, Brody Hoffman had an amazing first period. He really did. You know, the save on Rodriguez was going to be on your highlight reel that, probably. That be there for sure. And a couple uh, other good ones. The one on Nieto and, and uh, another one on O'Regan, I think. All yeah, we kept giving up the big play. You know, yeah. the first period, we kept giving up the big play. We talked to our defensemen about making sure that we, you know, kept uh, kept them in front of us and not let anybody in behind us. But we, uh, we made some big mistakes early and, um, you know, that's why you're your goaltender has to be your best player, um, and he was for us tonight. You know, I think the other, you know, it was a team effort, but I think uh, I think the McCarthy, Fallon, Reynolds line really stepped up for us tonight. I mean, we used, uh, we played them a lot. We used them defensively, certainly offensively. They were a spark for us, um, but I thought they were one of the best lines on the ice, if not the best line on the ice tonight for either team. Kevin, it just didn't seem like you guys were playing for your playoff lives. You seemed like a more controlled team tonight. Was there just no sense of desperation in them? Or? I think there was a sense of urgency tonight. I don't think there was a sense of desperation. We talk a lot about applying pressure, not feeling it. Okay. You know, I think our guys were much more prepared mentally for tonight's game. Last night, it took us a while to get going. You know, just I, I would say last night didn't feel like a playoff game for us, where tonight I could feel it in the room, just walking in. Okay. You know, we didn't need to pump them up at all. They were motivated, ready to go. They knew it was at stake. You know, a lot happened last night in the league. You know, with Maine winning, and I don't know what the scores are tonight, but UMass had a had a big point on the road. You know, so it's uh, it's it's far from over. We've talked about being in the playoffs now for three weeks. You know, this is our playoffs, just to get into the playoffs. Right. So. Thank you. How do you gauge that, you know, the sense of urgency? Because last night, even though you, you know, did win, the way you guys played all that shots, you guys could have got some bounces and come out with a win. So right. You got them. How do you really gauge that in their urgency uh, At the beginning of the game. You know, I think the first 10 minutes, uh, we were sloppy in our own zone. Uh, we weren't finishing our checks. We weren't driving the net. We, we got some shots, but McGuire was making saves and the rebounds were there, and it was easy for BU to clear. As the game wore on, I agree with you. Our sense of urgency really picked up, and I think that's why you see, you know, so many, so many offensive opportunities because we're playing for our lives. You know, um, tonight I just felt like we were, we had a control. The gentleman behind me, behind me said, uh, very controlled emotion tonight. Last night we were too emotional at times, not emotional enough. We had some highs and lows. Tonight we were pretty even keeled, even when uh, B was putting on the pressure there in the third period. Well, um, I saw earlier, it doesn't say on here, but I saw that uh, you guys really dominated the face-off circle tonight. Uh, a lot of times that's due to uh, a little bit of an extra effort. Do you feel like you were outworked by you today? Or? We addressed it. Again, you talk about urgency. We got absolutely killed last night in face-offs. I mean, uh, Holman was 18-2, and two, I believe. And I, I don't know uh, what it ended up tonight, but our centers did an excellent job. An excellent job. I'm sorry? 44-16. We'll take that. You know, and we've, had, we've been doing it great, but again, there's a sense of urgency. Last night, you know, that's a little thing, but it's huge. You know, whether it's a kill, power play, I think we won every power play faceoff tonight. That gives you possession right off the bat instead of chasing it 200 feet. So it's a, it's a small detail that we really harp on, and uh, nice to see us respond after getting on them last night. You talk a lot about emotions. Um, I think we got some on Northeastern a couple weeks ago. You talked about Brody and how his emotion is never something you have to worry about. He is. Has that, has that been the same? Yeah, I've never seen him get mad, get down. 
get overly excited. He lets in a goal, so what? You know, we talk a lot about our team. You know, when you give up a goal, it's so what next shift. You can't do anything about it. You know, it's how you respond, and he always responds. You know, and he, which is nice because he's a he's a quiet leader for us back there. So we just got to keep learning from him. They did score one power play goal, but held them to two shots and get a shorthand goal your own. Just uh, what works so well? Much better night for us. Just details. You know, Kevin Patrick works with the penalty kill for us, assistant coach. Um, he was pretty, uh, pretty adamant today in our video meeting. Animated, I should say. Uh, he got his point across. You know, we had sticks in the wrong lanes last night. We, we didn't block shots. We didn't execute our end zone, and we certainly didn't execute our forecheck the way we practiced all week. And urgency, attention to detail, you know, those are things that weren't present last night on our kill, and they were tonight. Uh, yeah, it has got the hot hand going right now. You know, sometimes they're going to score. It wasn't from an uh, execution thing. It was made a nice play on that goal.